Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Monster Hunter World Iceborne livestream. I wasn't playing over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I took the day off. I don't always take the weekends off, but I did this time, probably to just go play with my Pokemon cards. Welcome back everyone. Do you all have toilet paper? Have you ran out yet? I'm accepting toilet paper donations today. But I don't know, you guys are probably all hoarding your toilet paper. How's it going everyone? We're going to be farming Safi Poopy. I can't stop calling Safijiva Safi Poopy. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm so done farming Safijiva. But we have to keep farming. Because there's nothing else to do. We are getting closer to March, was it 23rd? What is that? Is that another week from now? So about one more week, we're going to be picking up a fight against Raging Bracadios and Furious Raging. Raging! Furious Raging. You have to say it correctly. And I don't know. I guess in the meantime... I will help you guys unlock more Safajiva Dracolite and Safajiva weapons and armor so that you have everything you need to be fighting some hopefully very end game monsters whenever Raging Bracadillos and Furious Raging do launch. How's it going, everyone? Wellix says, I'm at work. Ah, oh, that sucks, Wellix. Wellix, just quit your job. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> How's it going, Zach? Ong Hutut. He says, coronavirus time. That's right. High fever and dry cough. Bob says, I have a surplus of toilet paper. You have to share the wealth. Dust Blackout says, hey, Game Economist, what's up? How's it going, Dust Blackout? God Terror Boy says, how much toilet paper do you have? You know what's funny? Just before the toilet paper apocalypse, which is what I'm calling it, just before it occurred, my wife and I happened to have bought toilet paper because we were out. So we're doing very well on toilet paper. We have lots of toilet paper. I should probably be selling it uh, on eBay or in my Pokemon card stream. Quack Quack says, cries in PC. A Monster Hunter World stream? How weird. I know, right? <laughs> We've been doing a lot of Pokemon cards. I've really been enjoying my card channel, guys. So, but I'm obviously, I, I love this channel, too. So, I, I did take the weekend off, though, didn't I? There was some extra work I had to get done over the weekend, and that was a big part of the reason why. Hey, GE, you still owe me a free Dragonator, but I don't mind getting some free hand sanitizer or toilet paper. For sure. Give you potatoes. Twitch says, I got all the poo paper. What? All right, let's get started, guys. No more joking around. This is serious business. This is serious business. Stock market is falling. Toilet paper price stocks are rising. <laughs> How's it going, Twitch here? He says, here's to the very best to you, TGC. Hope you the best with Corona. It's Corona time. Thank you very much, man. Twitch here, that's very generous. Actually, here, uh, I'm sorry. I guess the snack fund was hidden. Let me unlock that. I'm going to update that right now. Dude, that's a lot of money. I don't know what that converts to. Is that like... Can I just say, like, 12 pounds? 12 pounds? I don't have, like, a pound key. <laughs> I don't know what it converts to. I think it's roughly this. It's Twitch here. That's your name. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate that. That's very nice, man. All right, let's post the Safi Poopy Siege to get us started. How many of you guys are tired of farming Safi Jiva? Well, you're not allowed to stop. It is literally a requirement. Everyone must keep farming Safajiva. Who do we have here? We got Twitch. Oh, okay, so that must be you. Twitch is here. Land Kraken, Kraken, Javon, Terraboy, Sonic Desku, Solomon, Emma Dean, Reza Kiri, and we missed King Darkness. There's a little bit of room still in the session if you want to join and be part of the best Safajiva uh, farming group on Xbox right now. Tell me some other group is better. I don't believe you. Well, they probably won't card as much. <laughs> so we are practicing our charge blade. I, I came scarily close to working on some sort of charge blade informative video. It could have been like a top 10 tips. It could have been like a brief guide or something like that. I came eerily close to that. I'm actually feeling a little confident with this weapon at this point. I don't feel like an absolute master of the weapon. Yes, use the layered loadout. I don't feel like an absolute master of it yet, but I actually do feel like there are things I'm really starting to understand about it. I think I'm at a point where in order for me to progress my charge blade skills, what I need is advice from an expert, or I need to start analyzing uh, charge blade speedruns, and this will take my charge blade game like to the next level. And then I need to practice that. You know, I need to practice really the things I learned from, from my analysis. So I, I kind of go through phases with every weapon that I really start putting time into where you, you have like these peaks where you like, you reach a new plateau of, of skill with that weapon. So let's see. But of course, I always just keep, keep dying. I keep carding. <laughs> 
I think part of it, you know, you guys only really watch me play when I'm here talking to you. You know how hard it is to actually read comments and play at the same time? It, it's kind of hard to do that. I have my laptop to the side, and that's where all the comments come in. So it's kind of like, think of it like this. It's like texting and driving. You would expect to eventually crash. And I think that you probably see me card a little more often than if I wasn't texting and driving. You see what I'm saying? Oh, let me go grab a drink. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab a quick energy drink. All right, I have my energy drink. Thank you all for supporting my bad habits with your beautiful donations. Like Twitch Twitch here. Thank you so much, guys. Now I can have early onset diabetes. Let's see. Oh, we're going to grab the easy potions. No, we're not because we bought our own potions. So those potions are for you guys. We're going to grab the stones. And let's jump on down. By the way, I have another 10 more tips you didn't know about Safajiva coming out hopefully in the next two days, and it actually has some good tips in it, so I hope you guys will watch that when it arrives. Even I was surprised by a few of these tips, not all of them, but a few of them were actually pretty cool. Alright, what are we doing? Ooh, let me change the music now. I'm gonna turn on some other music. I got my music player open. Let's listen to... I'll play you Quiet Water, Undertale. I really like this one. It's, this is good, like, background music. It's like elevator music. Hold on, let me get to the middle. Yeah, that's good. Alright. Wow, did he just miss me? Eh, he did not miss me there. <laughs> Alright, let's put this on. I like to put the Temporal Mantle on first, because it actually recharges faster than the Charge Blade. By the way, what body part you guys think I'd go for? I could go for the head. I think I like going for the head a lot. It's, it's really challenging to hit him in the head because he tends to move it to his his right and his left really hard. And when he does, you just miss entirely. Let's get charged up. Charging the shield. You know, it's funny. I find when you want to get good at a weapon, sometimes teaching how to use that weapon is part of how to get good at it. You know, you learn from teaching. A lot of people don't don't always appreciate that. They'll be like, wow, why aren't you just like a super master at what you're teaching? And it's like, well, as I teach and I make mistakes, I kind of get better at teaching, believe it or not. I get better at the thing myself. We're going to go into the Savage Axe. There we go. Aw, oh, that missed. I'm gonna put on the rock steady. Alright, he's gonna do this whole energy depletion. Alright, we're gonna stab him in the face now. Woo, the charge blade really stays on for a long time with this attacks, doesn't it? It is hard to land that, isn't it? Oh, I thought that was going to be a... Uh, guess not. Woo! <laughs> he got me again, man. Let's have a quick heal. Rock City can be pretty dangerous these days. It used to be really strong, but it's like they got smarter. It's like they got stronger and made everything a multi-hit. <laughs> so you couldn't just cheese monsters with Rock Steady anymore. Not the same way, anyways. Used to be really easy. Ah, 
See, the blade swaying under his chin. His chin's just too high up off the ground. It is hard to hit this guy. He just has so much movement with this head. There we go. <laughs> He's sweeping around. I notice he has a lot of moves that don't actually flinch you too. That's another interesting thing. Or like they don't, they don't, uh, they don't knock you down. I guess I, I, I think that's what I'm trying to say. So he has a lot of he has a lot of moves that like tap you, but don't really hurt you. See what I'm saying? They all add up. There we go. There we go. That's the move we need to land. Oops, I meant to guard, not do that. Let's get under his neck. Woo! This is gonna hurt. Oh, we got lucky there. That was lucky. And he's, he's going to the next stage. No problem. So let's see what you guys are saying. Safi is like Kul Taroth. You need multiple people. That's true. It definitely helps. You know, if you're having trouble as a team breaking, fully breaking his head, but the other team fully breaks his head, you might as well just give up on it and make sure you break everything else. That was one of the tips I was trying to give away in the 10 things you're doing wrong versus Safi Jiva. I was trying to explain how you're supposed to pay attention to what your other teams in the session are managing to break. So that if you have limited time to break something and you can tell you're not really you're not going to hit that goal you're not going to get that objective done you can focus your time on the objectives that you can do right so obviously nobody wants half points on a uh, you know like a body break part i think i meant to say a part break on his body <laughs> i said that all out of order nobody wants half points oops but if you are going to end up with half points anyways might as well focus on the most efficient thing to focus on. Again, it's, it's all about knowing what your teammates in the other session, or your other teammates in the session have already completed. It's funny, you know, there was uh, somebody in that video was complaining, he's like, the first three, three tips are just part breaking. But it's like, no, it's a little more subtle than that. They're, I'm trying to teach you guys how to prioritize parts, and that's actually really important to understand for this fight. Yeah, we get it, man, part break. You underestimate how many people are still trying to figure this stuff out. So if somebody's already cut the tail, another team, maybe you focus on getting the double head break. Of course, ideally, you would just break all of his parts, but in reality, a lot of the times you don't manage to do that. Depends on who you're playing with, I guess. Oh, okay. Woo! Did you see that? I didn't think I'd get that. That was the, the guard point. Another guard point. Man. It's not like a lot of damage. I think I can guard this. Okay, I wasn't sure if I had the guard up skill. Oh no. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have done it. I couldn't make up my mind. <laughs> I couldn't make up my mind on whether I wanted to try and roll through it, or past it, you know, like on the edge, or if I wanted to do a dive evade. I should've just gone for the dive evade. I got greedy, basically. Still going for the head. that missed. Ooh. 
Right hind leg broken. Nice. Ah, the mantle had to jump for me. That's too bad. I thought maybe the uh, transition between the weapon types would help pull me out of the way. Dude, he's being so aggressive right now. Ah, oh, man. I just can't hit him. His head's so hard to hit. I feel like the only way to consistently hit his head is to use a some sort of ranged weapon because it's so high off the ground and he just whips it to the left and the right so quickly and then if somebody has like his aggro and they're like running in a circle around him to get away from all the attacks you really really don't hit the head then yeah melee weapons versus the head is not feeling that great i've been fighting his head as you guys know for like like a week nothing but safajiva head attacks right and it has, it's not really getting that much easier. Like, yes, I'm understanding what he's using. Am I kidding meowing at me? What are you doing, kitty? My cat's sitting at my feet making meowing noises. I'm understanding his moves better, but that doesn't mean I'm able to punish them because they're just so... Like, his chin alone is just so high up off the ground. Kitty, I'm not going to play with you. I'm playing video games. She's like, play with me right now. I dodged through it, but it still hit me, unfortunately. Just hug legs with charge blade. It's true. I, I think I agree with you, but I kind of want to be able to break the head with various different weapons. It's sad thinking that you have to play a particular weapon to break a particular part. We'll just do the legs. I will take your advice, fan. Why not? We've been attacking his head the whole time. Let's use this to find out what needs to be broken. The back is already broken, but we could get that on a mount. Chest needs to be broken, of course. So, the right hind leg is done. He needs the left hind leg, right foreleg, and left foreleg. Alright, let's do it! Left foreleg broken. Oh, that's confusing. I thought he was about to roar. <laughs> do you hear the cat meow? What do you think she's thinking? Whoa! Oh, thank you so much, Mella. Let me update the snack fund. That's really generous of you. Oh, I'm not paying attention. I'm going to get myself killed. Careful not to throw Terror Boy in the air there. Because I'm learning. Right, I had the rock steady on. He wasn't going to affect me with that either way. Just go for the legs, he says. I was playing guitar on VC, though. I came in, I just yelled, Bond the row! I couldn't hear crap. I get easy head breaks with my hunting horn. Maybe I hear it, though. I'm, I'm reading your comments right now. Let me tell you, you're looking at the Safi gameplay and the ones I've been doing. It was kind of sad. I think you guys are having a conversation with, your th with yourselves. Whew. Man, I'm, I'm so ready to fight Raging Bracadillos and Furious Rajang. I we've, we've just had way too much Safajiva at this point, I'd say. Too much. Oh my god. You know what we ought to do? We ought to do a solo challenge in the Discord. I'm worried if we did a so. Oh my god. I'm worried if we, get, if we did a solo challenge in the Discord, that only certain weapons would be able to pass it 
So that's one of the main reasons we haven't done a... What's the kitty doing over there? She's attacking something. That's the main reason we haven't done it yet. Three light bow guns, one great sword. Left hind leg broken. You can loop by mixing in slinger burst to not throw people up. Oh, okay. Okay. Is that what that guy was doing? See, I remember watching... I, I remember watching the winning speed run from the match we, the the challenge of the tournament we hosted in the Discord, and I saw him using the slinger bursts. I wasn't a hundred percent sure what the advantage of using that slinger burst was. We'll try that. Is that a paralysis? Good paralysis, man. That was good. Right foreleg broken. What does that leave, really? Tail severed, head partly broken. Uh, I guess I'm going to be going for the chest and maybe the back. Go ahead and run over here. How many times you died, Cart Economist? Uh, so far, we've died one time. If we were going to do challenge, I say at least ban certain weapons like Storm Slinger. Ooh, good point. I guess we can go for the tail in the meantime. I doubt we get a tail cut so late in the fight. There's only five minutes left. I mean, we can go for it. getting much better at the um I don't even know the name of the move I just know what it is the slide this right here there we go oh I thought they were oh he's going to sleep I think we're gonna break the head in time. I think we gotta all just go for the chest right now. Oh, I thought that was gonna hit me. I guess not. behind me uh oh I feel like we're gonna break the chest just because we aren't uh I don't it doesn't feel like we're all focusing on the chest. What do you guys think is the best ch chest breaking weapon? Hmm? I feel like the this charge blade is actually not that bad for breaking chest because you do have the range. Oh and there he goes he's up in the air. I just can't I can't get any moves on him. Maybe the rock steady will help us. 
They don't show Safajiva having weakness or any info on the ecology section. Any idea why? Is he just weak to everything? No, uh, that's not the issue. You probably just haven't unlocked him fully in the PC, and they probably don't show it until you do. Oh, <laughs> I'm stupid. Head completely broken. Why, well, I want to be on the other teams. Oops. That, uh, that was an accident. Wait, it's already... God, what a waste. We both did the same mistake. We thought maybe... He's so out of here. Oh my god, I get hit by the falling rocks. I'm so dumb. I'm curious, can you only break the chest during the crit, uh, the uh, super crit? I don't think I've ever tested if, if it's possible to do it without. He's out of here. It didn't really matter. So I was just kind of waiting for that to, that to happen. Aqua Shot deals like 800 per shot on the chest, says Fan. Wow, so Aqua Shot is basically just good at everything. What does Aqua Shot not do? It breaks the wings where melee weapons can't. It can actually break the back. It breaks the head because it can actually follow the head easily. It breaks the tail because... Well, it doesn't necessarily cut the tail. Is Kitty making a mess over there, you think? You gonna go stop her? You gonna feed her? Okay. Uh... Anyways, Aqua Shot, it shoots through the tail for pretty high damage, and then it shoots through the chest for high damage as well. It's like cheating, almost. Great Sword of Charge Blade at the same time. Switch Axe would be great to destroy chest or other parts. Shadow Khan says, Switch Axe is one of the best weapons for the Safi Siege. Changed my mind. I don't know, Shadow Khan. So, I feel that Switch Axe and Charge Blade feel similar in a lot of ways. And th the big difference is, if you're sitting right under Safi Jiva's chest... And he goes into that ring attack, right? The big blue rings. You're easily able to guard with the charge blade in a lot of cases. Not all cases, but a lot of cases. With the switch axe, you just kind of have to rely on rolling through the move. Because uh, you're certainly not going to sheath in time to dive evade it. So you just kind of have to iframe through the move. And your chances of doing that correctly, I think, are actually pretty small. I think charge blade is probably a better option than switch axe. That's just my opinion, though. Feel free to disagree. All right, we have to break the tail, the head. What else needs to be broken? The, the chest, the back, the tail, the head. Twice. Wow. We broke the arms. Congratulations, us. We broke the arms and the legs. Wow. <laughs> It's amazing. Here, let's let's just you know we're gonna change weapon. I I want to get these objective done. I want to practice the charge blade. I do, but I want to get these objectives done. We're doing it. Aqua shot also crowd controls. Yeah, exactly. Aqua shot's advantage in this fight is way too big way too good do you actually have a high fever no I do not <laughs> in fact my job is interesting because I don't even ever have to leave my home for my job I just sit here uh, with the internet and that's all I need to do my job so I can self-isolate for the rest of my life if I wanted <laughs> Heavy Bowgun with the Wyvern Snipe does insane damage when you use Crit Draw. Crit Draw should not work... Oh, are you talking about a Clutch Claw build? I was I was the one using that the other day. Crit Draw, Crit Boost, Special Ammo, and the Velcana set. Yeah, I, w I was actually the one using that the other day. I don't think a lot of other YouTubers actually used that build. So you might have actually heard about that because somebody might have been talking about my gameplay. Most fun for me says, is it Corona time? It's Corona time. This time I'll use Charge Blade. Sounds good. Aqua Shot will be the first weapon I make when Safajiva releases. That's a good idea. Aqua Shot will even clean the dishes. Walk your dog, bang your wife. What can't it do? That's right. <laughs> I don't have Aqua Shot. Oh, I'm sorry, God Terra. 
What are you playing on, PC? That's right, we're playing on PC. Good guess. Now imagine if YouTube were to shut down. Funny you say that. I've been having a lot of YouTube problems, actually. Uh, not, not like problems with the organization or anything, but like mechanical, technical issues. And it makes me wonder, like, they must be undergo. I bet it's not related to the coronavirus, but it could be. They could have, like, engineers not working on stuff, maybe. I don't know. I, I've been having trouble, like, the last few days, actually. It just won't accept, like, uploads. It won't accept uh, live streams. When I tell it I want to go live, it's like, nah, you're not going live. It's like, but wait, I want to. Oops, not paying attention. All right. You know, I should make a build recommendation for players on PC on a light bowgun they can use, so that when they kill Safajiva with the light bowgun, the first weapon it offers them is a light bowgun, and hopefully they pick up Aqua Shot soon. If I can hit both wings, that would be. That would be good. Oops. Thought I reloaded. How's it going? How's it going, Matthias? Oh, Matthias, you need to contact me. Uh, I've got your cards on my table still. I couldn't I couldn't find out your your shipping address. I don't know if you ever gave it to me, but I, I don't have your address for shipping the cards. I'm pretty sure you're one of the guys who's still sitting on the table. What light bowgun would you use? Uh, yeah, so I would make a Rejang recommendation with the sticky ammo because it's going to be easily accessible and it's a very simple light bowgun to use. A lot of people didn't bother working on elemental builds with the light bowguns, I'm guessing. I could be wrong with that. What you playing? What? Quips over here playing Stardew, Val Stardew Valley for the first time. Feel like you need some video games? Oh, I should have tried to roll that. The Beatotus Light Bogan is one of the best elemental Light Bogan and is really accessible too. Hmm. The Beatotus Light Bogan, you say. What do you guys think? Would it be better to recommend Beatotus Light Bogan or the Safajiva Light uh, not Safajiva, the uh, Raging Light Bogan for Sticky Ammo? The reason you can use Beatotus is because it doesn't really matter what elemental ammo type you use. Oh. is heading for the lowest reaches of the area. This is it. The final showdown. Yeah. Is hammer any good for Safajiva? I mean, you can use any weapon against Safajiva. I think that the only weapon that has a very clear advantage would be light bow gun and probably heavy bow gun as well. Francis quarantine just in time to grind Safajiva on PC still sucks though. Oh, that sucks. Every country doing this quarantine to try and stop the, uh, try and slow down the, the rate that the virus spreads. Oh. It is hard to talk to you guys and play this. It is. Safajiva Sof is a little more challenging than, than typical monsters. You can die faster to them for sure. Also, the fact that you gotta target certain body parts. Oh my god. Dude, I don't want his aggro. Somebody else take the aggro. Here we go. Great, I'm on fire now. What? Did you see where the bullet went? Oh my god. 
<laughs> Imagine if that extra bullet would have been just enough to parallel. No, I don't think it would have mattered. I got hit by the explosion on the floor. God, that's annoying. That's annoying as frick, dude. Oh. He's knocked down too. I'm missing out on all the damage, guys. Oh. This is why we need a dedicated healer. <laughs> so you guys can save me. <laughs> I'm gonna focus on his chest for now. Did, did I ever paralyze him? I don't know if I ever paralyzed him. I killed myself by accident. God, I wasted so much sleep ammo. We'll pick up more sleep ammo. There he goes. Nice job on that. Another round of rocks. That's interesting. He just brought down two rounds of rocks. What does that mean? I finally finished my agitator secret. Master's touch. Great sword set. Extremeth was a pain in the booty with randoms. I'm missing that and breaking the head on my Safi list. A Zoolander reference for the kids. Zoolander? Man, that's an old movie. I'm accepting donate. Oh, I already read that. <laughs> What's funny is I could he hunts me on Discord if he I wasn't banned from Twitch and Mixer and could record my runs. You're banned? I don't know who, who banned you. Here, pick up this real fast. No, Gohan! Oh my god, this team's gonna run out of lives if we're not careful. Twitch fainted too? Oh no, guys. <laughs> It's that God Terror Boy giving us the thumbs up. Good job, guys. <laughs> Receive the effects of feline insurance. Oh, we're on our last life, definitely. Oh! Dude, that movie is confusing because you got to time like when the ending of the move is. Oh, so that wing's broken. We're going after the other wing now, then. I can hit it in the sweet spot. That'd be nice. Did we just break the other wing? Both wings are broken. Very good. Is everyone here? I don't want to paralyze them until everyone's here. Not paralyzed. Did somebody already paralyze him once? Oh my god, he never paralyzes. Somebody must have already paralyzed him. Oh! 
He got me! Oh my god, that move's so annoying. Your Farcaster saved you from the nuke. Oh, you guys got nuked right afterwards. Oh, I saved the day! Woohoo! No way. So, what happened, guys? Remember, I mentioned that there were two rounds of rocks, and what must have happened is he must have destroyed them. Let's bring him over here real fast. If he'll still stay aggroed on me. Oh, wait, is he mounted? Oh, shh, I gotta get over there. So, I must have gotten out just before he went into the second, uh... <laughs> Second beam. That's hilarious, man. No chest break. No chest break. That's what I get for not playing the Safi shot the whole time. Oh, well. <laughs> I saved the day with the Farcaster. I didn't even know it. Of course, I wasn't intending to. It was all luck. We did get both of the wings broken, so I guess that's nice. I can think of two great videos I can make right now. I could make like a video for players who need starter builds for fighting Safajiba. And then I could make a second video where I talk about how to properly upgrade every weapon. Uh, and what else? I could make a video talking about... I don't know what else. Maybe all the end game builds for farming him. But really just all of just about this Aqua Shot to be honest. This Aqua Shot's so good. It's a good thing I like bow guns. Twitch, do your do flex your poses. What? Safi was sitting in the air instead of ulting so I could far cast her. What? Large Dracolite. You gotta keep his aggro or he won't drop rocks. Uh, I don't know if that's true, is it? How, how does the rock mechanic work? I was under the impression that the rocks, the way they work is you have to deal enough damage or... I thought it was a damage mechanic. Yeah. Remember, people were people couldn't figure out why they were getting uh, nuked, double nuked by him. And they were saying it's because you're not, you're not passing the damage test. Just like with Behemoth. That's what people were saying. And so I assume that's what it was. And I think that you can have this issue go on where he's supposed to go up in the air and use his... You know supernova but if you flash him out of the air you can actually screw up something up where he like double novas i don't know that is an interesting mechanic there's clearly some things that we still don't understand death says ever think of bringing back smithy roll for each weapon there is a smithy roll in the discord only one person has it and it's fans perspective and it is the best role so i've i've turned it into an even more prestigious role and is probably only ever going to belong to one person it's going to be like a one person roll from now on and that person gets to update all the builds in the builds channel right above the weapons channel. So it's a pretty prestigious roll actually. In the past, I tried giving out smithy roll to a bunch of people like one person per weapon and I realized that it, it needed, I don't know, it's like it needed more of a clear purpose and a more, I don't know. Yeah, it just needed more of a clear pur purpose. And I thought maybe having maybe 14 people with the smithy role would work. But it makes so much more sense to have one really reliable person have the role who is able to talk about all 14 weapons. That's actually much smarter. So I think it's been much more productive to have one person with the smithy role. It's been a lot more productive. We've tried so many different things to come up with decent builds in our discord server and i think the most successful thing to do was just to give it to fan to get the smithy roll i think that's actually been the most successful successful thing all right let's see if we got the aqua shot no aqua shot what oh there is a there is a tip coming in my next safajiva tip video that is actually pretty useful and interestingly it doesn't show the level of their awakenedness, does it? Does it show how awakened they are? See, these weapons come in at different levels of awakenedness. It's, it's such a weird word. Awakenedness. <laughs> Bet this attack 3 is actually a higher level. Anyways, you guys will find out about that when the video drops. You got Corona? That's right. I'm super Corona infected. <laughs> I'm going to use this Klazuka build again, and I'm going to do nothing but go after the head. 
This is my OP Klazuka build, guys. I take full credit for it. <laughs> this actually might be one of my favorite builds. <laughs> I got a few in the cooler, he says. Alright, I'm gonna go for the double head break. Hopefully I get it. Fan is GE's right-hand man. Change my mind. Fan is a big part of the community, I'd have to say. Because he comes in and he gives people really useful information. And uh, he hangs out with, the, with us and that's very cool. He deserves... All the attention. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'm hitting the mute button so you can't hear me peeing. And he's back. How's it going, guys? By the way, um, I have this new thing. God, I hate it when I say um. I have this new thing where it actually shows us when somebody subscribes to the channel. And I would love to test if that actually works. I have a suspicious feeling that it doesn't always work. Because I can see my actual analytics and how many times people have subscribed to my channel. And then when I look at Streamlabs, and it only says like 10 people have subscribed. I'm like, that's not right. It's like, you know... I get about 50 to 100 subscribers a day, and it's claiming I only got 10 subscribers. So you know what you guys could do to help me test it? If there's somebody watching who has never subscribed to my channel before, if you hit that subscribe button, I'd love to see if we get the alert box to pop up on the screen. So that little shuckle that shows up in the upper le left-hand corner, that's supposed to show up, and I would love to see if it does. I'll show you what it looks like right now. So this is uh, from Bummer. I'm going to go ahead and send that back out. Yep, there it goes. Bummer just subscribed. Spark says, please send nudes. Oops, I mean hand sanitizer. That's right. Yeah, so if you've never subscribed to my channel and you want to test and see if the pop-up works, uh, this would be a great time to experiment with that because, I don't know, it's weird. It's like it doesn't count everyone or something. All right, let's change music, by the way. How about Snowy Extended? Nah, I don't like that one. What else we got? Ooh, I like this one. This one sounds nice. Playing some background music. Sometimes I do manual background music. I really do get tired of listening to the same Safajiva music over and over, head, um, over and over again. Uh, it looks like it worked. Four people just subscribed, it claimed. Weird. Maybe, it, you know what? Maybe it depends on if I'm actually... Oh, you know what it is. I know what it is. I bet it only works when I'm actually live stream. You know, when I'm actually sending live stream to YouTube. I bet that's the only time that Streamlabs starts to record who's subscribed. Wow, look at all these little shuckles, man. Amazing. DS main theme. Dark Souls? Nah, I like something a little more cheerful in my live streams. So I got some cheerful music. Thanks for subscribing, guys. 
All right, we are dead set on breaking his head using just the clutch claw and this heavy bowgun. It's gonna be amazing. You know what? I wonder if the wyvern ammo would be any good at breaking Safajiva's head. I, I didn't even think about testing it. We're, we're trying all kinds of experiments on what breaks Safajiva's head really fast. And I, it just occurred to me, we, we could use wyvern ammo for very high one-shot damage to a single... Got it. <laughs> All right, we could use the wyvern ammo on him. I didn't even think of that till, till just now. We should we should do a wyvern ammo setup and see how good that is at head breaking. Oh, I bet it's gonna be so good. Proof of a hero. I could, I could play that. I actually need some new OSTs. So if you guys have like a favorite Oh, maybe I'll do a channel in the Discord for favorite soundtracks from video games. You know what I especially like? I love to hear indie soundtracks because I, I like exploring new things. I feel like mainstream video games, their soundtracks are always kind of safe. And maybe there are just replays of old song that already existed. What I love about indie music for video games is that often the person writing the music will be experimenting with the new style of music. That's how we got like the ambient music from Minecraft, right? C418 was trying something kind of cool and the developer for Minecraft was like, yeah, let's try this calming soft music and then it, you know, it was like clearly very successful because of the experimentation that a lot of the mainstream companies weren't willing to make. Ambient music. Uh, so I, I love indie music when it comes to video games. So we're hitting for about 341 right now and it's occurring to me if we were just using wyvern ammo, we might actually do, be doing a little bit better than that. We might be hitting for about 500. Get him, Gohan. Oops. Oh, he's mad. Oops. Is that going to kill me? Nope. Wouldn't Gunlance be good at breaking the chest? Hmm. What did... That's a great question, Shadow Khan. So basically what you're asking is, do you have to wait for the chest to be in the super critical state in order to start applying part break to it? And it is a question I actually do not have the answer to. And when I do have the answer to it, I should put that into a video because that's actually really valuable information. I assume when Safajiva comes out on the PC, we'll be able to use uh, mods in order to see what parts are taking damage. And so that question will be answered very soon. Can you attack the chest before it's in the super, cool, super critical state? And if you can, I guarantee you there's going to be an opportunity for maybe like a wyvern ammo build that just sits there and does tons of damage to the chest early on. Especially since you can just far cast back and then get right back into the fight very quickly. If you want good OST, check out the Hollow Knight soundtrack. I think I have, I don't think I liked that one. Bob Newkirk says, I don't know how the math works out, but I saw a crit draw build using the Zora heavy bowgun. Crit draw build? On heavy, on the Zora? I don't know why you would choose the Zora. The uh, Mag, uh, Magda Gametis, the Vulcan. Got it. You know I'm getting better at the Clutch Claw because of this build. You want some Clutch Claw practice, use this build, guys. Don't attack with your head. <laughs> ah, I still got hit. I'm scared. Don't kill me! He's running away. Actually, we're fine. We just follow him down. Never really thought about it until you mentioned Wyvern ammo. I know. I'm, I'm trying to get really good builds against Safajiva's head, and it occurs to me now, Wyvern ammo might actually do really solid damage to a single target, and we've never tried that against his head. I feel like the toilet paper running out in America is because of us Australians doing it first, hence Americans just copying. That's right, we're all copycats. We just steal our best ideas. 
Grab you over here. Uh oh, yeah, that's gonna throw us off. Ugh. I was hoping to roll out of it at the last second. The thing is, he follows you with that move. Luckily, we had damage taken reduced, which saved us from dying right there. But that's all that saved us from dying. We should have died there. Divine blessing for the win, basically. Oh, he's been mounted. So these melee attacks actually build KO damage, if you didn't know that. We could get KO. If we get multiple knockdowns like this, I'll be able to KO him doing this. For those of you unfamiliar with the heavy bowgun and the bowgun, the light bowgun. Uh-oh. Oh, that was lucky. Someone caused the drool status, which stopped him from using an attack that would have actually hurt me. Sometimes you have good luck. <laughs> Don't do it! We got off in time. Back broken! Left foreleg broken! Soon it's gonna be head partly broken, right? Ooh. Sometimes if you chill out on, like, his right arm and his left arm before going for the head, uh, he will actually attack with that body part first. But I've been getting unlucky. If you're real patient, you can kind of get it more consistently, but I'm not trying to be patient. I'm trying to spam. How's it going, Mary? If birds had arms instead of wings. That's right. Oh, God. Keeps attacking with the head when I jump over the head. Just wasting my uh, mantles and everything. Maybe I should take the aggro while I have temporal mantle. Wouldn't that make more sense? He's gone. Let's go ahead and heal up. Woo! Does that wipe out the punt when he uses that? No, it does not. Slinger Thorns. So these, believe it or not, Slinger Thorns are not that bad. Ah, too early. I rolled too early. Uh, you can use them on his head, and this also contributes to a KO. So check this out. We're going to use this on his head. All right, now we have the aggro, all ours. We're gonna go ahead and take this off. I don't wanna target his head. All right, what you saw is after we shot that, that dealt a bunch of KO damage to him. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, we live though. Get this dust of life out. Does someone take the aggro away again? What happened there? That's so weird. I didn't actually keep the aggro for very long. Uh oh, he's gonna get mad. Oh, right wing broken. Nice. Left wing broken. Woo! That's the grab, by the way, that move, where he leapt forward like that. Uh oh. Oops, that hurts. Paralysis! You don't want to par paralyze him until you reach stage 4. That's one of the things I talk about. Not 4, stage 3. You want to reach stage 3 and then paralyze him. Head partly broken, now we're going to deal bonus damage. Who doesn't like the bonus damage? Sometimes we'll deal bonus damage. I know this is not all the time. Oh, that's gonna throw me off.
Maybe a ZSD spam switch axe build would work on his head. Hmm, that's an interesting thought as well. I think that ZSD spam is a little more challenging though, because you have to charge the weapon up first. So you would have to like focus on, you would have to hopefully hit the head a bunch first and then be like, all right, now we're going to spam ZSD on you. I think that, yeah, I think that would really be challenging because the switch axe, one of the primary attributes of the switch axe is your lack of like mobility. And one of the biggest problems with the head is it's an extremely mobile part of his body along with his I, I would say it's more mobile than the tail, wouldn't you guys say? Because you're not actually allowed to hit him in the neck. That doesn't contribute toward the head part, part break. Whereas with the tail, you're allowed to go all the way to the base of the tail, and it's still tail damage, right? Come on, man. Jesus. He whips around so fast. Uh, I think that Wyvern Ammo might be a good idea, because Wyvern Ammo has deceptively high range. A lot of people underestimate just how much range. Uh, the wyvern ammo actually has and the range of the wyvern ammo sh can be adjusted as you're winding it up and uh, so it can be focused on his head as he's turning around I i'm really interested in it and i might just put a build together at the end of this run how well do stones and slinger bombs work on getting a ko on safajiva uh i don't think slinger bombs contribute to ko's do they i think you mean thorn pods right the thorns those do contribute to ko's and I have watched a lot of speedruns where the speedrunners will actually use uh, the thorns in order to get KOs on their target, which is really impressive. <laughs> I dodged the tail there. Very good. Alright, I'm just going for it. Sometimes you take a risk when you're doing this claw build. You just kind of take a risk. Wow, 500 damage. Very cool. Let's make sure we're getting enough damage on him by using a demon powder for our whole team. All right, everyone gets a nice damage boost, and then I die. <laughs> Whoops, that is uh, not part of the plan. That's sad. Okay, we'll eat again, though, and I think we have plenty of lives this time. That was not part of the plan. Just spam the sword to Axe Morph is easy to control with decent damage and have high reach. How can he fly if you break his wings? <laughs> It's a fair point. <laughs> the wings aren't really broken. DSD spam works too well. You'll be grabbing his aggro all the time, spoken from experience. Well, Switch X is a high damage weapon either way. So I think, you know, if you're just doing enough damage, you're going to grab his aggro. The question that we're trying to answer is what is a really good build for breaking his head? And I think that you could make an argument like, oh, the bow or the light bow gun. Uh, but I, I think I'm looking for other builds other than those two because I think those are the obvious the obvious choices 607 damage dude that's a lot that's 300 I don't know if they've already paralyzed him or if they were waiting for me to return which would have been a probably a good idea get your whole team benefiting from it Uh oh, darn it. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense to target the head when you know that, you know, I've been jumping on the head the whole time. I didn't use a, good, I didn't use a jump. Oh, but I did though. Explosion on the ground caused me to. All right. behind this wow you know it's funny even though he's not directly hitting me look at how much damage he did to me he brought my health bar down to half regardless regardless ah you did it again go hand is there an obvious bow to use for safajiva i believe you would use the dragon damage bow right the uh, safajiva bow I don't actually play bows a lot, even though I love uh, ranged weapons. I just mostly play the bow guns. I love how diverse and weird the bow guns get. Okay, here's some more Slinger Thorn. We're going to go ahead and throw that off on the head. Oh! Wow, he changed direction still. I'm timing it wrong. Nice, see, there's the KO. I was telling you guys about that, remember? Actually, since he's already KO'd, we're not going to double KO him. Let's go ahead and get back to this. So, you guys need to start considering using the flint shot with the slinger pods more often. Not just on him, 
but just on monsters in general, it's actually pretty effective for getting your team like one KO, even if your weapon's not designed to get that KO. Am I getting thrown off? I did get thrown off. That's sad. So when someone gets his aggro, we should probably lead him over the uh, explosions. Why did that only do 187 that time? I wish I understood. Yeah, I'm gonna give out another dust of life. We could all use it. Oh no. Gohan! <laughs> Why are you trying to grab the head, Gohan? The, go the, the head is softened. There's like never a point where the head isn't softened. It's like I'm guaranteeing that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, guys. God, he turned around and attacked so fast there. I was hoping to grab his aggro, get him over the explosion, and then to set the explosion off on his chest for you guys. What is this? I guess we can't go over here. Weird. It was just an opportunity to pick up Crystal Burst. Does it matter picking up Crystal Burst versus picking up the stones? Well, it says Blast Bow isn't a meme. Apparently, it is not. It kind of makes sense, though, right? Because all the Sapajiva bows are the new meta, right? For the bows, from what I understand. And then at the same time, if you think about it, the Blast Bow has the same raw as all the elemental bows. So if you have a if you have a situation where a monster's not taking a lot of elemental damage. Oh, there he goes, he's gonna jump up now. Then you might consider that blast bow. Alright. Come on, we gotta get that head break. I really want that head break. Twenty-two? We dealt 22 damage there. I don't know what happened. Haha, <laughs> I tricked him. And he grabbed me. Wait, who did he grab? Oh, he did grab me. Oh no, oh good, 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 good. You guys scare me sometimes. <laughs> no, you gotta be kidding me, man. Oh, nice job, nice job. He's like targeting me with that beam move, and that's a that's a good move. Go ahead, you should bring him over to the other uh Am I out of I am out of. Maybe I can grab his aggro real fast. And lead him over. Oh wait, does he just lose aggro? Wow, I'm about to die. Alright, I didn't know that. So he already had Safajiva's aggro, and when I used the... Oh good, he's is he moving toward it anyways? We gotta get him over this green, guys. This is about to end. If we get that last explosion, that's like a thousand damage. Actually, there's two more explosions. Alright, well, it went off on the tail, I guess. Might as well try for something and maybe get the knockdown or something. Oh, he's gonna throw me off with that? No, he did not throw me off with that, interestingly. Energy completely drained. Wow, no way. So anxious to try and get that head broken. He must be so close. We didn't get the explosions we were hoping for. How did that still hit me? So his forearms are part of that move then. I'm dead. Oh. Dude, we must have less, less than a minute to do this. Oh, he's gone. 
I was going to lead him over to the other trap. Nobody was doing that. The trap, guys. The trap not only deals a thousand damage to, you know, whatever body part is standing over the trap, you have a fairly good chance for a knockdown after you do enough of the traps. So that has to be a priority for the team when he's in stage three. Yes, yeah, so tough, man. Fan says, Robbo has been good since base Iceborne. Remember that commentary you did on SSH run where he was using the Rajang bow? You're correct. Uh, you're right about that. So SSH usually know what's up when it comes to meta bow builds. He's really good. And we were surprised to find out that he was actually using the Rajang bow, which was not known for high elemental damage. It was known for having high raw damage with some elemental damage. Yeah, that's an interesting point. Blast Bow only works on like six monsters, says Fan. Blast Bow isn't that great. It's for those with the low hitboxes like Nerg, from what I've heard. Elemental still better. Chloe says, TGC, I just wondered which monster is Safajiva's father. Uh, obviously Great Chungus. Do you have toilet paper? Yes. Read my DM on Discord, you frick! Alright, let's go read it. And let's pause this music too. Alright, so I don't think we're dealing enough damage with this claw build to get a head break by ourselves, and that means I want a better build, basically. Oh, I see what you said, Melax. <laughs> we did that in our we did that in the main server already. We did that once. I don't know if I have time to build what I want to build. You know what? We'll do it on the next run. I'll take a nice long break. No, I'll do it now. You guys play around without me. Play around without me. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to put together a strong Wyvern ammo setup. And we're probably going to use old old heavy bow guns because I don't know all of the new Safajiva bow guns. There's probably a Safajiva bow gun that is best for using Wyvern ammo, but I do not know which one that would be. So old Wyvern ammo setups thinking about it I guess it doesn't have to be like perfect or anything that's 450 417 rapid cannon scorch cannon snipe cannon raging rajang destroyer The Rajang Destroyer is a temptation because it actually also comes with that sticky MO3 and you're going to be building artillery in the first place. Let's go with the Rajang Destroyer for now. And let's go ahead and remove the Laird Armor. This will help make it less confusing. So we will actually be running... You know what? Here, let's grab... We will be running a build similar to this one right here. Where'd it go? Here it is, Rajang Destroyer. We'll be running a build like this. We don't actually need Slugger. We could build Slugger for the KO Ammer. Ammer. <laughs> oh my god. Ammo. Uh, but. Boy, it would be nice to get both Artillery Secret. Both Artillery Secret and. Hmm. The artillery secret gives you more damage. Well, it says use Zora is better. Is it better to go Rajang Destroyer or a Light Bowgun for sticky ammo? I would go with the Light Bowgun if you're new to Light Bowguns. I feel that Well, you see, if we run out of ammo, we can just go grab more ammo with the Farcaster. So it's not like it takes a long time to pick up more ammo. At the same time, though, when you do Farcast out, you're actually spending time Farcasting out. All the people buying up all the toilet paper now make me wonder what they have been wiping their booties with the whole time. Is there a benefit from clans? Not that I know. I don't think there is. I'm trying to decide between Artillery Secret versus uh, True Spare Shot. 
two spare shot might give me like maybe even three extra shots. Artillery secret will give me extra damage. Which one would be better? Let's go with the extra damage. All right, we're going to go with probably jump over here. Probably already have one set up, don't I? Yeah, this one's going to be... Oh, here it is. <laughs> so what do we have going on here? Artillery, turn resist, health boost, free element ammo up. I don't think free element ammo up will affect the wyvern ammo. Slugger, tool specialist, guard, guard up. Now we still only hold one. So we can go in and we're actually going to drop the... We're going to drop this release decoration. Where else do we have release? Oh, it's coming from the Arsh and Van Braces, isn't it? Yeah. And we need to add part breaker to it as well, this build. Recovery up. Recovery up is an interesting idea because we, we were practicing with the recovery speed and recovery up, and they're actually not bad. Agitator, flinch free, quick sheath, agitator, recovery speed, offensive guard, handicraft, item prolonger, stamp surge, speed eating, recovery, poison attack. None of those. What was that last one? Astral scarf. Wow, that gives you a lot of divine blessing, doesn't it? Hey, we'll run divine blessing on this setup. You know, one thing about this setup is it's going to be kind of risky because once you go into that animation... Once you go into that animation to fire the wyvern ammo, you're pretty you're pretty prone. You know what I mean? Also, I'm I'm sure the legs. Oh, you know we don't need Garuga legs on a build like this. That's probably why we consider the legs. What do we get from this? Okay, that's not bad actually for building a little bit of guard. But let's say we don't care about guard. What else could we build? Evade extender. Wow, that's actually tempting. Evade extender on a build because we have a limited range on the wyvern ammo. Part break, defense, free element ammo up, weakness exploit, wide range, earplugs, agitator, stamp surge, tool specialist, defense boost, focus, evade window, guard, speed eating, constitution. I'm going to give up the guard, and I'm going to go with the evade extender, actually, with the Kushala Cruise. All right, and everything else has to stay put. Aren't the Stygian gloves the best part breaker op option? Do I not have them? Maybe I... Here, let me go check. I'll be right back. I'm not really too worried about part breaker because you can get part breaker from vitality part breaker decoration. And, you know, personally, I always bring vitality on my builds and I don't need slugger. So I'm not going to be doing like slugger vitality. We can check though. Okay, I don't have it. Uh... Yeah, I mean... They're pretty close, technically, in in, in, in uh, efficiency. The difference here is, do I want four small decorations or three, two medium, one large? And I would say, because of how easy it is to build part breaker, I actually prefer the divine blessing. Believe it or not, believe it or not, because there's no like health boost, divine protection decoration, but there is actually a health boost. Here, let me just show you. There is a health boost part breaker decoration, which is probably why I've never built that. So we go to health boost, and here is right here. So the reason I've never built that that particular decoration is because I've never needed to. Jumping evasion, we're going to drop that as well. All right, now we have part breaker and vitality, which I was always going to bring vitality. <laughs> we don't skip vitality. I'm not like that. Antidote? Shield jewel? What do you guys think? Yeah, let's bring it. Fear is going to get dropped. We're going to drop protection out of the rock steady. Also, we're going to trade the rock steady out with the temporal. Okay. I think the evade extender is probably a good idea. I don't know. Unless we can find better legs. Here, we're at the smithy. Let's check for other legs. Aren't the stitch... Oh, I already read that one. <laughs> Here's an attack boost heroics. I mean... If we wanted to deal more damage. Fire. 
focus, resentment, flinch free, earplugs, an earplugs option. It's an interesting idea. Weakness exploit, thunder attack, crit eye, earplugs, part breaker. What is this? This is Zora, huh? No. Free element ammo up. We're not going to be touching that. Latent power, crit draw, speed eating, earplugs, defense boost, attack boost, wide range, agitator. I think it would either be the Urgon Greaves for guard, or it's going to be the Evade Extender. And I feel like the Evade Extender is technically going to be... It will, it will it will give me cases where I don't actually need to sheath. I'll just roll. So we're going to keep the Evade Extender for now as a more aggressive option than the Guard. And we might be able to fit Guard into the build anyways. But let's see. Let's drop this real fast. We'll drop Shield. Let's just drop all this stuff for a minute. See where we're sitting. So we've got... We've got Artillery 5. I think I had a level of Artillery in the build that didn't even need to be there. So that's why that's why sometimes it's a good idea to drop everything. So there's Divine Blessing. Divine Blessing's on the build now. And we are going to pick up Guard Up. I think Guard Up is worth it. You know what? I think Elementalist works on this weapon, doesn't it? No, 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 it doesn't. Wait a second, let me check. This has Thunder Ammo, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, so Elementalist does not work. Forget about that. <laughs> Oh, not KO. Come on. Where's the guard jewel? There it is. They look similar. So there's the guard jewel. Tremor resist, health boost, part breaker, divine blessing. You know, the tremor resist will actually be really nice. And I actually kind of feel like we should have some guard. I think that guard will help us with being flinched really hard. And that helps us stay on the head, right? Where's guard? So we shouldn't have to sheath for anything if we just have a decent amount of guard. Two levels will take us to 15% depletion. If we got two more levels, that would be 30%. I mean, we don't really need anything else. Do you guys recall anything else you need for Wyvern builds? I don't think you need anything else. Sometimes what I would do is I would mix Wyvern with... But what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is we can do True Shot. That's the other thing. We could do like a True Shot Focus setup. Technically, we don't even have to do that. Let's do it. Let's do a True Shot. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to be picking up... Now, come on, man. It should be right there. Where is it? There it is. One... That gives us focus one, focus two, and focus three. So we have focus now, and then we need two slots for true, true shot. We already built part breaker, right? Yes, we did. If you want some cheap earplugs, you could run Bayo Coil and Zora Legs. No, I would have to give up Zora Spine then. Um, let's see. Artillery 5, Tremor Resist, Health Boost, Focus, Part Breaker, Divine Blessing, Special Ammo Boost, Evade Extender, Guard. So maybe what I can do is I can use the Wyvern Heart to kind of help out with the wings. Because I know I'll be able to reach the wings. Flinch Free, Guard Up. We have these down here as well. Ooh, you know, we should definitely have the recovery, ooh, not recovery speed, we should definitely have the recovery up on this. I think that recovery up would be really strong on these mantles. Let me just make sure that I have this augmented for health regen. Health regen works so well with Wyvern ammo. Wyvern ammo just gets so much back. Sweet. Alright, so there's our health regen. We'll just stop there. And then let's go ahead and work on 
Our mods? Wait. Yeah, what am I doing? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Alright, shield mods going on. We need to look at the uh, reload. So, we're going to jump over to... Rivern ammo. There we go. So that's slow now. And then the rest should be close range, should it not? So close range, close range. That's going to be diminishing returns on the close range at that point. Let's just take a look at everything else for a minute, just to be sure. So paralysis 2 will have very high, but it won't matter, right? I'm trying to remember. Will it matter? I don't remember. Close range, shield, special scope. That would help with the wyvern heart quite a bit actually the special scope would give a lot of bonus damage wyvern heart mod wyvern heart mod i believe it increases the ramp up oh i can't remember what exactly does wyvern heart mod do, do to the wyvern ammo it ramps up sooner right is that what it does wyvern heart mod is definitely a temptation power barrel stun and exhaust effects does long barrel work with the wyvern ammo? Oh my god, there's so many questions I have. There's things I'm still learning about the game. Shadowcon says, you can, you cart, you become gay. Remember, son, carting is gay. I don't know why I typed this. Most fun for me says, big difference between shield 2 and 3, though, at least for me. I would only ever build one shield. Chloe says, would that build work with the loyal thunder? Yes. I mean, I don't know why you would do it with the loyal thunder other than the extra shot of wyvern ammo, but... I don't think that... Well, I guess it would increase your damage output a little bit. I need to find a shield jewel. There's your mods. Yay. Extending maximum range with the long barrel. Does that work with wyvern ammo? That is a really good question. It says that it extends the maximum range by enhancing the ammo speed, which is really mostly it's talking about like sticky ammo. This is, it sounds like this is probably what we would go with because it boosts stun and exhaust. I think that having bonus stun on him would be really nice. Wyvern Heart mod would give us bonus damage on our Wyvern Heart, which we actually did build for. No, we didn't fully build for it though, did we? If you really wanted to build Wyvern Heart, you would build Crit Eye, Crit Boost, Weakness Exploit. I think we should just go another close range. And I think we just got a donation as well. Mecca Yursaday. Oh, thank you so much, man. Let me update the toilet paper fund. Thank you so much. All right, we jump back over here. Power barrel for more KOs. No, I think we're going to go triple close range. Remember, the goal of this build is not actually sticky ammo. The goal of this build is going to be wyvern ammo. So this is my old griffin setup. Maybe I should just go with the sticky setup. You don't need trank ammo, poison ammo. Would we ever use normal ammo? We have stick ammo. No, we wouldn't. And then here's the important stuff. The wyvern ammo. Okay, wyvern ammo stays on. Mega barrel bomb. I, I guess it can stay on. It's not that big of a deal. What's this? My sticky ammo builds do not have... Really? Why would I have done that? There's no reason to drop the... Demon Talon or whatever it's called. Here it is. Power Talon. Power Charm. There's no reason to drop those. Those actually give you bonus damage. Weird. I gotta go in and fix that. That's probably a mistake. Nullberry. Nullberry really useful for this fight. I feel like it's not. Same with the Stara Jerky. Shock Trap can't be used. Mega Barrel Bomb can be used. Gloam Grass Bud can be used. That's right. We're not gonna be using Bond Berries. All right. This is just going to be wyvern ammo up here. Wyvern 
Where'd I go? Must have passed it. I was right at the start. Dust alive. You gotta have dust alive for your teammates. Because somebody's going to get... They're going to get killed in the grab. Cluster bombs will get dropped. Probably I should have a saying there, like, let's lead him into a, uh, lead him to the trap or something like that. That's probably what the bottom one should say. But uh, let's not do that. Let's not worry about that for now. If I wanted to be really rich, I would put Paralysis 2 here. But I don't think we'll actually be using a lot of Paralysis ammo on this setup. So we have some bonus stuff here. Why don't we go ahead, I tell you what, we'll put some gear in those slots. Something I don't always do. We'll put the gear down. Alright, that scares me sometimes. Sometimes I accidentally use the gear and I don't mean to. But we should be spamming the gear the whole time. We have to save this, so this will go right here. Here we go with the Xbox keyboard. You heckin' hecklers took our second runaway. What? Who did that? We're gonna say Wyvern here. Dude, I was reading that. You're not supposed to sit down for 30 minutes, longer than 30 minutes at a time. I was reading that the other day, yesterday, yesterday night. So I've been sitting so long, I actually get like back pain from sitting too long. And I'm like, that can't be healthy. <laughs> so learning about how your back wears down if you have to sit for too long. Yeah, so I, I, I've been thinking about it. And in the future, what we might do is at the hour mark in our live streams here, we might have a little intermission for 15 minutes and the... Live streams will be two hours and 15 minutes long. So that might be the future. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about that. We may be able to improve this build in the future whenever we learn which Safajiva weapon is best for Wyvern ammo. And then what we can do is we can throw in, uh, you know, some kind of... Well, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see. Let's go ahead and post. But anyways, I was reading that you increase your odds of early death for sitting more than 30 minutes at a time every day. I was like, what? That's got to be most people, though. Most people probably sit longer than 30 minutes. But me especially, I'm really bad. I mean, I all my work is done sitting down. I edit videos. I play the video game. I do the live stream sitting down. Every Absolutely everything <clears throat> is done sitting down. So I'm, I'm especially in trouble. Okay. There we go, that's the build. Uh, maybe we should let some other people in. How many people? We got a lot of people in the gathering hub. I do want to play with Twitch and Terraboy because I think you guys are nice and skilled, but actually everyone's supposed to kind of get a turn if possible. There's a little joker. How's it going, little joker? Um, I think we're going to have to let them have a turn. I'm, I apologize if you and Terraboy were waiting to join. But I think we've actually played three together. I think we've played three together already, this one live stream. And uh, I used to monitor, monitor that a little bit better. I used to make sure that everyone gets a turn to be in the live stream, which I think is more fun for everyone. Uh, I, I haven't been doing that as much lately. Wait a second, you just rejoined, man. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, Twitch. Thanks for the earlier runs, Twitch and Terraboy. Don't worry, we'll have more live streams in the near future. But I think some other players should have a chance to... The top 1%! We're going to do some wealth redistribution here, guys. I can't have the top 1% playing in the live stream the whole time. <laughs> General Boar, we have Javon, and we have P PW. PW. People who work in call centers sit for 8 hours a day. Yeah... Yeah, that can't be good. Speaking of which, since we're at a natural point in the game where I don't actually have to be fighting, I'm going to go ahead and stand up and stretch. I'm going to send you guys a picture of my wife sleeping with her mouth open. 
She's on the couch. <laughs> I don't know how she falls asleep with all the noise I make. She's actually a very light sleeper. So like if we're in the room sleeping and I move even a little bit, she'll wake up. But I think what happens is me talking in the live stream gets treated almost as like a white noise, you know, like a like a fan going in the background or something like that. And so she's able to fall asleep to it somehow. <laughs> Sword and shield is for those with big peepees. You'd think so, but actually it's not. <laughs> Read my comment, it will help you, says Wellix. Sit down during hunts and stand outside of the hunts. Oh, that's exactly what we're doing right now. So if I sound different, it's because I stood up, so I'm further away from the mic. Well, that was like 10 seconds of standing. That's, that's enough. I think that's good, right? 10 seconds? I mean, as far as I can tell, all you need is 10 seconds of standing. Do you put your Minecraft beds next to each other? That's right. <laughs> you should stream Monster Hunter while running on a treadmill. <laughs> uh, I never bought a treadmill. I, I got a small exercise bike and uh, now I never use it. <laughs> I bore her to sleep with my talking. <laughs> It's actually not true. Maybe one of my earlier girlfriends, that was true. She didn't like to talk so much. I don't think she was that smart, though. She was very sexy, but that was about it. <laughs> uh, my, uh, my wife and I, we're both talkers, so we both enjoy talking about things at length. We love talking about stuff. Sometimes we just sit around and talk a whole bunch about uh, politics or... Usually, actually, it is social commentary, so it'll be a combination of, like, politics and uh, maybe trending news. Okay, we'll just grab the stone. Let's jump on down. So we are testing out a wyvern ammo build because we want to know if we can break the head more effectively this way. Would the phoenix jewel not be helpful because of the fire blights and whatnot? Uh, it might be useful for like a dual blade build. Oops, I messed up. I was thinking about the wyvern ammo versus the sticky ammo. All right, let's try this. Let's see how well it goes. 340. Oh, plus 94. So about 400 damage. That's not bad. It's about 400. But you know what? We didn't eat for Feline Bombardier, did we? Did we? We did not. Oh, and by the way, we should be using this, shouldn't we? We should be using up our Wyvern ammo real fast. Wyvern Heart. That's actually really hard to land on the wing. Alright, we did a little damage to the wing. Whoa, look at that! That was pretty easy. <laughs> oh, the Evade Extenders. Nice, guys. Oh my god, did you see that? We covered that whole ground very quickly. I don't know. I'm kind of liking it, guys. This might be a good headbreaker. This is why I love heavy bowgun so much. You guys know this is my most played weapon by a lot. So the biggest problem is we're going to be going back to the camp the whole time for more ammo. That's going to be the biggest downside to this build. Look at that. That's still reached. Oh, this is it. This is going to be the headbreaker, guys. This is going to be better than the water ammo. Like, the water ammo chips at the head over and over again. Ah, oh, that missed. The water, Yeah, it's true that it chips at the head, and it does a lot of damage overall to the whole body. But let's say you're really trying to focus the head. Nice. How do we do on melee damage? 35. <laughs> 400 damage. This is going to be it, man. It's great because it has so much better reach than the hammer. So, in theory, the hammer should be doing more damage, but this has so much better reach. See how much damage we get here. Probably not much, right? I mean, yeah, not really that much. Whoa, Vade Extender so useful. I'm loving a Vade Extender. Oops, that was paralysis. So let's try this out. 
By the way, are we out? Oh, and there's the downside right there, guys. We are already out. Oop. And we can't be it right now because he is hurt. Let's go ahead and use our Wyvern Heart. So there's the downside right there. We're already out of ammo. Oh, lots of damage here, though. Look at this. Oh, man. That's actually a lot there. So maybe uh, maybe what we need, we're looking at here is a Wyvern ammo-focused build that also uses sticky ammo, something like that. That's why I'm thinking, because I think it's going to end up with us having to use the Sticky Ammo 3 either way. The problem with using Sticky Ammo on the head, you're going to crowd control him in Stage 1 rather than Stage 3 over and over. But I don't know, maybe, maybe the importance of knocking him out, not knocking him out, breaking his head is a higher priority than... I don't know. I need time to think about it. Let's go ahead and take this off real fast. I guess the ability to knock him down and also to use the Wyvern Heart on him at the same time is kind of nice, right? Alright, we need to go back. We need more. We need more of this Wyvern ammo. I do like the Wyvern ammo being used on him. I can already tell, though, that ammo replenishment is going to be the biggest problem with this build. He has a lot of health, and 10 shots of Wyvern ammo is not going to be enough. Maybe the Magda Gemetis, then, with uh, maybe Cluster Bombs? We'll, I, I will keep thinking about it. You guys can think about it with me. All right, so we're refreshed on that. How's it going, Fluffy? I've been live for an hour and 42 minutes, which means I have about 18 minutes left. I'm not hearing enough woo flu coffin. <laughs> we definitely are getting the Wyvern Heart back really fast. I noticed that. Oh, and that, well, part of it landed, I think. Just running some experimental kind of ideas. We can guard this. Yeah, yeah, boy. Look at this evade extender, though. That's amazing. I love how much the evade extender is helping here. I think that, if anything, we learned that evade extender on the heavy bow gun can be really useful. Head partly broken at the beginning of stage two. Easy, guys. <laughs> Bruh. Let's see if I don't die, though. <laughs> Maybe a... Hmm. Alright, that, that sucks. Oh, that's gonna kill me. No, I'm still alive. My KO, though? So we're getting close toward having the Wyvern Heart ammo available again. And I feel like the Wyvern Heart ammo is a part of the build that doesn't make as much sense as the rest because we're not really built to do a lot of damage but despite having both focus we have both focus and man I am thinking actually of doing the Magnetis. sorry I'm like trying to talk and play at the same time and I'm doing like an analysis <laughs> it's not sounding very coherent is it <laughs> I am thinking a lot about the oh look at this I am thinking a lot about using maybe the Magnetic Metis. Because we can snipe him. We can snipe his head, right? With the Wyvern Snipe. And it would be kind of like the old Griffin Blazooka setup. And Magda currently beats out the Griffin Blazooka because it offers Cluster Bombs, which Griffin Blazooka can't match. Also Sleep Ammo, which is useful for this fight. Here, we've got this mantle on. If somebody could just crowd control him, that would be perfect. We're wasting it. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! -hoo -hoo. We definitely helped cause that drool.
Alright, I'm glad I didn't shoot there. I would have missed. Alright, it's okay. So, if, if you can't get him in the head, you can literally just shoot him in any part of his body, and you're going to get a decent amount of damage on it. Because of the, how the Wyvern heart is, or the Wyvern ammo is. Ooh, I almost stepped out too early. I'm really impatient. <laughs> Did I soften it? No. Did I? I can't tell. I think this same build on the Magda Gametis, using maybe like a Wyvern Snipe mod, so that you get bonus damage on a softened part, might, might work? I don't know. I, I need to think about it. I don't think you would need that. I don't think you would need the Wyvern Snipe mod, because you would want to run as much of the close range mod as possible. Oh, he still hit me with that. I was hoping that the shield would be active by then. I can't be doing the most damage. That's crazy. I'm scared to reload even. He's got to kill me. <laughs> He's gonna come back with that. Yeah. So here we go. Woo! Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm so dead. That last minute save, man. Come on, stand still for like a second. Oh, interesting. Come on. Ah, oh, my god, I missed. Alright, so we have Rocksteady now. Which means we can die faster. <laughs> I did die. Oh my god, dude. I gotta... Rocksteady, man. <laughs> How many times you gotta be told Rocksteady's bad? Hey, you know, I wonder what this build would look like as a solo setup against Safajiva if you were running Fortify. You know what I mean? Oh, I gotta try this as a Fortify setup in a single run fight. That would be very interesting. Can I eat? I can eat. So watch this. We're gonna pay with Voucher. And we are definitely gonna go for Bombardier. So here's our Bombardier. And what's gonna happen is because we're eating Bombardier here, we're actually gonna get a lot more damage in my opinion. It's going to boost us by about 50. Just shy of 50, actually. Uh, we don't have a tack up demon drug, I mean. We don't have demon drug. I grabbed onto his head, and I'm thinking to myself, he's going to kill me through the Rocksteady, and that's exactly what he does. It's funny, because it's, it's obvious I'm aware, and I still do it. <laughs> Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. After one of our teammates. Very good. That means not after me. Man, look how much chip he did to me. He brought me down to half health with just chip damage. <sighs> the art deep. We've got it! We've got the red potion! 
I can't hit him though. <laughs> he moves his head too much. I was like, we're gonna get the affinity boost. It's gonna double our damage output. It's not gonna double your damage output, obviously, but it's gonna increase your damage output. <laughs> All right, we finally went through that. I don't know how I feel about the Wyvern Heart, to be honest. And how, how how bad is this? Oh, that's really bad. So paralysis on this gun is not very efficient. No, Padubia, Padubia, no. Wow. So we're hitting for 442 plus 120 which is just shy of 600, right? We're hitting almost 600, which we knew we could hit numbers like that because we've seen it before. Oh God, please don't kill me. Oh, so close. Let's get this on, this will help us. We knew we could hit numbers like that because we did it when Iceborne launched. Oh, snap. All right, we're gonna go for the back. I don't know if the back's broken already. But W is mad, I'm sorry, but W. Oh, oh wait, he's he's upset because he got killed. That's what happened. <laughs> That's okay for W. We don't judge. Head completely broken. Look at that, guys. Wow, that happened so early. I think we had a lot of help, though. I don't think we were the only ones working on it. Oh, he jumped back up. Let's get over there. We broke the head fairly early with this setup. And I feel like we were getting help. But I think also it was feeling more effective than a lot of the builds I've used, a lot of the melee builds. And I, I think in some ways it was feeling more effective than uh, just using like the Clutch Claw build that we had the other day, or j earlier in the stream, I mean to say. So I might have to experiment with this more. We have to find out if there's a Sophageeva Bowgun, which is the new best Wyvern ammo Bowgun. We need to figure that part out. I would love to be able to drop, actually. No, we, you can't drop True Spare Shot, it's too important. True spare shot is too important for ammo uh, reserves. But I'm thinking a Wyvern Snipe build with Cluster Bombs might be the next move. And of course, that makes us have to think of Magna Cometas. Why did Padubia do that? Was he doing that intentionally? Oops. He roared. Okay, so what are we doing? We could work on the tail. Let's find out what's not broken real fast. The back is not broken, actually. And then you have the chest, the right wing, the left wing. So both of the wings are unbroken. Both of the hind legs are broken. Okay, so we've broken both hind legs and the head. Head through the opening in the floor by using the wing drakes. Can you boost Wyvern Fire Heavy Bogan damage with the attack or just artillery? Wyvern Fire Heavy Bogan damage? You mean Wyvern Ammo? Do you mean Wyvern Heart or Wyvern Ammo? Because those are two very different things. Oh, you got caught in a full charge slash. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> That's understandable. I'm going to target the wings next. Dude, that Wyvern Heart just tears up the wings, doesn't it? When you have it, when it's available. That's the right wing. We just it, Okay, so that broke. We're getting help from the guy with the water ammo, so we're going to get these wings really easily, actually. I dodged it. Super critical state. Time to shoot him in the tummy, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> No way, I thought we were behind the boulder. I didn't even bother. I thought we were safe behind the boulder. He just like shot right through it. Oh my god, that's so bad. Kill me. Uh, I thought we were safe behind the boulder. Look, how does that kill me? Look, we are behind the boulder. How does that kill me? We're safe. <laughs> I could have hit the roll button. I'm like, nah, I'm behind the boulder. I didn't want to come out from behind it. So I just stood there, and it still killed me. 
dude, that's that's not right. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Look at that. <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> the boulder was like, nope. Oh. So I could have rolled from the beam when he started shooting it, but I was afraid if I did, I would roll past the boulder and then I would just be exposing myself to whatever, you know, if he decides to make the beam sweep or something. So I just stood there because I thought I was safe. Splash damage? I don't think so. Boulder <laughs> dodged. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're at the two-hour mark. You know what that means. I'm going to be hopping over to my channel, my card stream channel, where we open up some Pokemon cards for fun. It's like my hobby right now, except it's becoming a very expensive hobby. Uh, we're going to hop over there, and uh, we'll probably be opening up some cards. You're welcome to join us. Uh, I'll leave a link to that live stream in the chat room in a minute. But first, I have to go over there and set it up. Okay? So in the meantime, I'll leave my character in a happy weapon pose for everyone to pose around with me if you want. And I will go set up the other stream, and I'll be back here when it's ready. Okay? I'm very interested in seeing where this idea of spamming Wyvern ammo will go, because I've always been a big fan of spamming Wyvern ammo. I think Wyvern Ammo and Wyvern Snipe together would be a much more interesting idea. I'll be back. And I'm back. Twitch here, my man. That is so generous of you with the donations. I'm glad we got to play together. Thank you so much, Twitch. <laughs> Woo! Let's update that snack fund for you. Thank you for all the toilet paper. I'm going to guess that's about $24. We should play again. And now, I am going to go find a link to the card stream. Oh, nope, it wouldn't be over there, would it? <laughs> I'm looking at my other YouTube channel. My main one. Yep, I got a Safajiva video in the works. Leon Thurling is back. He is helping with the editing again. He's like, hey, I want to do some editing again. So we will probably see that soon enough. All right, and here is a link to the other stream. So I'm not done streaming. I'm just going to be streaming on my other channel, and it's going to be something else. This is my hobby, spending all my money 
Opening up Pokemon cards. Not all my money, obviously. We do it for fun. Actually, I don't even open that much. I open a few packs a day. Uh, if I if I opened as much as we really opened in the live stream, I would just go broke right away. <laughs> so I, I limit I limit myself to how much we open. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and alert my Discord channels. I have two Discord channels. Did you guys know that? We have the main one, and then we have a card live stream Discord. Fancy, right? Raging Bracadillos, Furious Rejang, almost here, guys. It is almost time to freak out, and I can't wait for it, because honestly, I'm a little bit tired of Sofajiva. <laughs> We've done a lot of Sofajiva. There's always things to learn, but I've just I've fought him way too much, and there's no reason to fight anything else. Oops. What just happened? There we go. I'll jump over to the main channel. Hope you guys are staying safe. Not picking up the Kuwuna virus. Wait a second, this is wrong. I know I'll be hoarding my toilet paper. <laughs> and that's going to be the end of the live stream. I'll see you guys over there. Oh, we got a new Twitch here. Became a member too. Thank you so much, Twitch. Thank you so much. He's like, money? <laughs> Don't be shy. How's it going, Guessy Who? So we're going to jump over to the other live stream now. I hope I'll see you guys over there. Goodbye. Oops, wait a second. I can't end it right away. All right, goodbye. <laughs>